Welcome one and all. Today we will be looking at the history of the New York, New York Hotel and Casino. New York, New York is located on the northwest corner of the Tropicana Las Vegas Boulevard intersection. The hotel has cemented itself as a firm favourite among visitors to the neon capital of the world. Driving through the Las Vegas Strip, it is impossible to not have your head turned by the impressively themed structure, complete with mock-up skyscrapers, Statue of Liberty, Brooklyn Bridge and interweaving roller coaster. It is a must-see for any visitor to Sin City. To witness the birth of the New York, New York Hotel and Casino, we have to go all the way back to 1952. A developer by the name of Mel D. Close purchased 160 acres of land to build the Desert Rose Motel, Lone Palm Motel and Trailer Court. The Desert Rose Motel was made up of 26 rooms, pets were also welcome and the motel even had a pet sitter service. The average room rate was $2.95 a night. The Lone Palm Motel had 31 rooms with promises of a room for the night offering soundproofing and air conditioning. The trailer court had 81 units. The roadway in was built in 1965. Two gas stations, Chevron and Husky's Gas were also located on this plot. The land was later sold to Japanese firm Universal Slot Machine, later known as Universal Distributing, for $20 million. The creation of super resorts in the 1990s such as the Excalibur Hotel and Casino, MGM Grand and the pre-existing 1950s hotel Tropicana helped usher in a new era for Vegas. All of these resorts were located on the northwest corner of the Tropicana Las Vegas Boulevard intersection. Seeing the large amount of guests and revenue that these casinos were attracting, a developer called Primadonna Resorts decided to invest in their own resort on a neighbouring plot of land. The parcel of land that they settled on was part of the aforementioned land purchased by Universal Distributing. Primadonna Resorts purchased an 18-acre plot along with the existing establishments for a reported $31.5 million in 1992. Gary Prim was the founder of Primadonna Resorts and son of Ernest Prim. Ernest Prim was an early developer of casinos. Ernest Prim was so well respected that State Line, a town south of Las Vegas, was renamed to Prim. Gary Prim developed the Primadonna Casino in Prim, Nevada in the mid-1970s. He took over the family business in 1981 after the passing of his father Ernest. Prim approached then-MGM president Bob Maxey in 1994 with an idea for the site, a resort and casino whose exterior would recreate the 1940s New York City skyline. Agreeing to this proposal, a joint venture was then formed between the two companies. Construction began in March 1995 and boasted that it would be the tallest hotel and casino on the Las Vegas Strip. The hotel exterior was designed with the 1940s skyline in mind by including buildings such as the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building. However, there are replicas of buildings post the 1940s, including Lever House, Seagram Building and the CBS Building. Standing proudly to the front of the resort is a one-half scale replica of the Statue of Liberty. The replica stands at 150 feet instead of the actual height of 305 feet. Other replicas include the Soldiers and Sailors Monument, the Whitney Museum of American Art, the main immigration building on Ellis Island and Grand Central Terminal. Notably, one of the resort's key landmarks planned and delivered was the 300-foot long replica of the Brooklyn Bridge. Staggeringly, the construction period was just under two years. It's the greatest city in Las Vegas. The great big city is a wondrous town. Made for a girl and boy. New York, New York Hotel and Casino. We'll turn Manhattan into an Isle of Joy. Opening January 3rd. Completed at a cost of $460 million, the New York, New York Hotel and Casino opened to the public on the 3rd of January, 1997. Now the Strip's newest mega resort is open for business. The New York, New York Hotel and Casino opened up to the public just hours ago. It seems as though New York, New York is, uh, has, is having a great opening. Let's take a look now at the crowd. Now, just a half hour ago, it was crowded, but as you can see now, it is packed. It's, it's amazing. It's like no other casino here. I think it got the MGM beat. Okay. Fantastic. Stupendous. <laughs> We've come all, well, I've come from England. The premiere took place on the 2nd of January, the day before the public opening, and many celebrities were in attendance. 
New York, New York opened with a grand firework display. The result was completely full to capacity. Nearly 80,000 people showed up to get a glimpse of Vegas's answer to New York. The casino had to close their doors and control capacity to avoid overcrowding. One of the most popular opening day attractions was the Manhattan Express roller coaster, which travels through the property's interior and exterior. The coaster is 203 feet high and reaches speeds of up to 67 miles per hour. The Manhattan Express was the first roller coaster to feature a 180 degree Heartline twist and dive maneuver, which creates a similar feeling that pilots experience while performing a barrel roll in a plane. The roller coaster has five four cart trains that resemble a traditional checker cab as seen on the streets of New York. The ride was created by Togo International Incorporated, who were a Japanese roller coaster manufacturer. The idea for the coaster was inspired by Prima Donna Resort's Buffalo Bills Hotel and Casino in Prim, Nevada. Buffalo Bills was home to the now defunct Desperado roller coaster, which reached speeds of 80 miles per hour. Queues for the Manhattan Express reached two and a half hours on opening day. It also received the award for 1997 Best Attraction in the Las Vegas Review Journal's Best of Las Vegas Awards. Other themed attractions included a 700-seat Motown Cafe. On its debut, there were performances from various Hollywood stars including Paula Abdul, Sinbad, Howie Mandel, Steve Guttenberg and David Hasselhoff. The restaurant featured statues of Motown singers and music videos displayed on large TVs. The opening night party for the Motown Cafe Las Vegas. Less than a year after opening Motown Cafe in New York City, the celebrity partners Diana Ross, Queen Latifah, Boys to Men, The Temptations and The Four Tops are open for business on the Las Vegas Strip. And to celebrate, they've invited all their friends to the party. Welcome to New York, New York. The operations of New York, New York required 2,100 employees for the successful running of the resort. Inside the resort, various facilities such as gambling areas, lounges and meeting rooms were named after New York City neighborhoods and landmarks. The casino had 84,000 square foot of gambling space and contained over 60 table games and over a thousand slot machines. The gambling area had a replica New York Stock Exchange called New York, New York Slot Exchange. This resulted in the New York Stock Exchange filing court action against the New York, New York Hotel and Casino for trademark infringement. Neon signage and vintage advertisements represented Times Square. The Village Street Eateries is a nod to Greenwich Village, a tree-lined street complete with brownstone dining locations. Indoor trees and plants dotted around the casino represented Central Park. The Coney Island Emporium Arcade was home to 200 games, gridlock alert bumper cars and New York, New York police laser patrol tag. The arcade has since been renamed to the Big Apple Arcade. The bumper cars and laser tag have since been removed. The Big Apple Arcade is located near the roller coaster. The hotel itself consisted of 12 replica skyscraper towers containing 2,034 hotel rooms, including 104 suites. Many of the suites were spa rooms that had jacuzzis. The swimming pool was spacious enough for 840 guests. By today's Vegas standards, this would be considered small. A spa, fitness center and hair salon were also on site. A 21,000 square foot meeting and conference facility provided space for up to 300 people. In 1999, MGM brought Prima Donna Resorts outright for $276 million in stock plus $336 million in assumed debt, giving MGM ownership of three casinos and two golf courses at the Nevada-California state line, in addition to full control of New York, New York. The Motown Cafe didn't stay open for long. Officially, it closed its doors on the 21st of October 2000 after just a three-year run due to a decline in popularity. There was speculation about who would take over the vacant cafe unit. Rumours of Walt Disney Corporation purchasing the unit turned out to be true. Between 1998 and 2008, Disney operated a total of nine ESPN zones. The New York, New York ESPN zone opened in 2001 and had a huge opening day event, complete with motorbike stunts from Mad Mike Jones. Lady Liberty also dressed up for the occasion. The ESPN zone had an array of sporting events played out on multiple big screen TVs and served a variety of foods such as burgers, steaks, salads and ribs. In June 2010, ESPN closed. The unit reopened in October 2010 after a remodel and ARC was the new management. The venue was renamed to the Sporting House and maintained a sport theme. After the 9-11 attacks in 2001, locals and tourists alike spontaneously sent various tributes to the New York, New York, in particular t-shirts from police, fire and rescue departments around the country. T-shirts and other items were displayed along the fence in front of the Statue of Liberty replica. 
In March 2003, New York, New York unveiled a formal memorial next to the Statue of Liberty Lake. The tribute consisted of a granite wall with 20 boxes of mementos with brass plates that had quotations from figures such as Ralph Waldo Emerson, Nelson Mandela and Eleanor Roosevelt. Items were displayed on a rotating basis. The tribute had no unveiling or fanfare and the hotel never disclosed the cost of the memorial. The memorial was removed in 2013 for a casino expansion. In its place, a commemorative plaque now marks the spot where the shrine sprang to life almost 20 years ago. Today, nearly every scrap that was left in front of the resort can be found in special collections at the UNLV Library, where everything has been carefully collected, catalogued and tucked away in boxes. The New York, New York 9-11 Heroes Tribute Collection features almost 6,000 items, nearly all of them t-shirts from first responders. If lined up end to end, the boxes of tributes would stretch nearly the length of three football fields. The MGM covered all the costs associated with the collection, including the hiring of a student to catalogue every item, transcribe every note and describe every shirt and flag. On the 20th of September 2003, the Broadway Theatre was renamed the Zumanity Theatre. The theatre became home to a new show called Zumanity, which was the first Cirque du Soleil made for an adult-only audience due to elements of a sexual nature. During the late 2000s, MGM began to de-theme a number of their resorts across the Las Vegas Strip. Casualties at the New York, New York included updates to the carpeting, a change from New York City buildings to a floral design. Renovations were carried out in the casino, the Big Apple Bar became a high limit area, the cage became the centre bar, the Brooklyn Bridge had its lake filled in and the boats were removed from the lake outside the Statue of Liberty. 2013 brought the opening of Hershey's Chocolate World. There are only eight Hershey World stores in the world. With eye-catching displays, it is unmissable at street level. Inside the store, there is a chocolate statue of liberty. The unit is spread across two floors and offers visitors the chance to create your own candy bar. A variety of themed Hershey merchandise are available to purchase, in addition to a huge pick and mix Hershey station. There is also a kiosk on the lower level that sells milkshakes and wonderful Hershey filled baked treats. In April 2016, Park opened next door to the New York, New York. Park offers an immersive outdoor dining and entertainment district, which includes the T-Mobile Arena, which can host events for up to 20,000 people. In February 2018, the Manhattan Express coaster, now known as the Big Apple Roller Coaster, would become the Big Apple Virtual Reality Experience. The optional feature was $2 extra. Today, the coaster costs $19 to ride. The ride has undergone a variety of enhancements since its opening in 1997, including the introduction of a magnetic braking system and new trains. Reportedly, the coaster is a rough ride, but certainly thrilling as it propels you through the New York skyline. During renovations in December 2020, new Skyrocket 2 coaster cars made by Premier Rides Incorporated were being implemented to improve the comfort of riders. During testing, the ride suffered a severe derailment while climbing the lift hill. No passengers were on board as the ride was still in testing phase. In February 2021, the ride reopened, having fixed the track and added the new train cars. For those thrill-seeker couples out there, you can even get married on the roller coaster. An estimated 1.4 million people ride the Big Apple coaster each year. Due to the pandemic, the New York, New York closed from Tuesday the 17th of March 2020 until Thursday the 4th of June 2020. Today, New York, New York still holds a prime location on the Las Vegas Strip. In that regard, not a lot has changed as the area is still incredibly central to a lot of tourist activity and attractions. Since its opening, multiple hotels have since opened on the Strip, yet it is still a favourite for many. The general consensus appears to be that guests are drawn to the resort due to its central location and close proximity to the T-Mobile Arena. It also offers a clean and comfortable room for the night. But many feel that the hotel rooms are tired and in need of renovation. The resort may have lost some of its theming, but much of it lives on. When you step through the doors of the New York, New York, the casino immerses you with its flashing neon lights, decor and charm. I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences of the New York, New York Hotel and Casino. Thank you so much for watching.